Someone reporting that a dead body has been found. Oh, I think I see a body. That's a guy with a hammer. He's running. Yeah, we're approaching the train track now. I think a train is coming. Do not run onto the train tracks, dude. Don't let him run onto the train track. Don't let him run onto the train track. Hey guys, it's your boy Dodo McGee and welcome back to another video of British LSPDFR, the mod in GTA 5 where we get to play as a police officer. Today, we're here for a rather different looking end of the month patrol video, because um, I'm not wearing a uniform. Uh, because today, as chosen by you guys, for some reason, uh, we are playing as the Criminal Investigation Department, otherwise known as CID. The people famed for never leaving the office. As ever, the end of the month patrol video is determined by a poll that I put in my Discord, um, which this month ended with a draw between CID and the Specialist Tactical Unit. So when I asked you guys on YouTube, you all voted for this. So this is what we got. This is what we get. Stand by for 30 minutes of me standing in an office. I'm kidding, of course. We are going to be he heading out and going out onto the streets to see what we can help out with today. There's always crime occurring. And our job in the criminal investigation department is, you guessed it, to investigate. So we're going to hit the road, we're going to grab our kit bags, and then we're going to get into the car. And uh, yeah, we'll see what crime needs investigating today. Let's go. So, our lovely morning coffee has been rudely interrupted by, um, by someone reporting that a dead body has been found um, up in Sandy Shores. So, quite inconsiderately, I now have to go and deal with that. Uh, and get on one hell of a road trip uh, up to uh, Sandy Shores. I haven't actually mentioned we're using this um, this Peugeot. It is a hybrid, so we do have to bear in mind um, the uh, the electricity usage. But anyway, um, yeah, we've got one hell of a road trip in front of us. So um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in about an hour or so when we eventually make it up to um, Sandy Shores. Right, here we are. Sunny, sandy shores. Let's see. I haven't had any details, actually, about what this uh, body is. It literally just says, uh, dead body. Uh, Marina Drive. Specifically, 1021 Marina Drive. So, that's, um, that's interesting. Right. Oh, it looks like it's literally right out on the, uh, on the jetty or on the spit, I guess it is, um, that goes off into, um, the Alamo Sea. Just gonna slowly follow this damn lorry. But you know what? We're going for it. Right, now let's see. How do we get down here? There are, there are some people down here. Where's a... Oh, I think I see a body. Yes. Yes, indeed. Right, I'm gonna stop here so I don't get this thing beached. I don't know how much further the tide cup... Is this tidal? This it probably isn't tidal, is it? But anyway, right... Let's see what's going on here. There's a guy literally just having a smoke. Hi, buddy. You're right. Just chilling out next to this dead person, huh? Well, there's some kind of error there. Hello. Hello there. Hello. What's happened? Roy Ronaldo. I wanted to catch some frogs for my university. Okay. I'll take a closer look at... What? So, I, I, I mean, okay. This is, our, this is the body here. That I'm just kneeling on, apparently. I'll record your personal details for the witness information. After that, you can go. Yes, absolutely. Investigate the area and collect some evidence. Okay, well, first of all, I want to get this guy's... Have a proper actual chat with this guy, so Hold on a sec. let's get this. Uh, let's ask for his ID card. Just confirm this identity, ID, huh? seeing as he's going to be needed as Thanks. the person that found the body. This is indeed Roy Ronaldo. Can I get a person check? Ten four copy. I guess not. Okay, so we'll go do it this way. Roy Ronaldo, born twenty seventh of July, nineteen seventy six. He's currently wanted. That's an issue. We'll keep that to ourselves for a minute. Let's just find out what that's for. To 
work out how much trouble we're currently in. He's wanted for arson. Okay. Well, well, we'll keep that information to ourselves. Buddy, can you just uh, hang fire for a minute here for me? Um, uh, I don't think I have specific questions of... Uh, you know, how did you find this body? So, um, I wonder if there's something... Did you see anything... Anything seen or suspicious around here? When she saw you coming, they took off? Okay. Who's that? Okay, uh, and are you willing to make us a statement about this? I know how to handle disrespect. That's that's not what I'm asking. Like, why have you called us? Uh, okay, this guy's not making much sense, but okay, whatever. Right, so this is our dead body here. Let's, um... In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtly get a local unit out here. Because this guy behind me is going to need to get arrested. Sandy Shores. So, right, let's do a search of this person here. We copy you. On standby. Let's see. So we've got a pocket digital camera, multiple zip bags of white crystals, a rusty spoon, loose cigarette, and a prescription for painkillers, oh, and some more loose cigarettes. Okay. And looks like an ID card for Brad Leroy. Let's, um... No, I can't do it that way. Can I get a person check on a Brad Leroy specifically? No, that's Roy Ronaldo. I asked you about that. Oh. Tide's coming in. The body's now in the water. Was that always like that? Or have I only just noticed? Oh, it looks like ARV are here. That's hilarious. Right, well, let's take a look. See if we've picked up his ID. We'll, um... Yeah, here we go. Oh, my lord. He's a missing person. He's very well known to us. Um, he's ha He's been arrested for riots, causing death, one under the influence of drink or drugs, um, production of psychoactive substances. So he's not a very nice person, but most recently he was uh, a missing person. Interesting. Well, we know what happened to him. He's dead. So... That's, um, that's a shame. Right. Um, right, Roy. Thank you very much for calling us. However, the problem we have is there's a warrant for your arrest for arson, okay? So, I'm just going to let you know now that at this moment in time you are under arrest for that. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. And any do say it may be given in evidence, okay? Just turn around to this uh, officer's going to put some handcuffs on you. Right, okay. So, let's quickly do a arrest report for him and then... Uh, it's annoying that ARV are the people that have turned up to arrest him because, um, yeah. So, it's criminal damage, is it? No, uh, there it, it is in that. I, I, I just can't read. There we go. Right. Submit that. We're in the water again. Oh, yeah. The tide's coming considerably here. We're all getting wet feet. Right, ARV, you can go, and instead, let's get a van out here. Assistance required in, uh, Sandy Shore. Yeah, our body is very much underwater. Right, it did mention, it did mention about picking up bits of evidence, so, if I just open up my map here, there is a little search area, but... Ty's gone out again. Hi guys, thanks very much. Um, we're out here dealing with this murder. This guy's the informant. However, he's um he's he's got a warrant for arson. So if you wouldn't mind just taking him Assistance with. Required in hey there. Sandy Shores. Oh, he's now said I've not collected all of the evidence. So what is this thing here? There's a little pot of something. No, no idea what, what, what that is. Can't see. Well, I suppose we need to get um, the body recovered, so... Can I get forensics? Here we go. So, 
There we go. Body's getting and get recovered. Um, I'll take this little bottle here as evidence, but unfortunately, I don't think there's too much more in the way of evidence out here. I mean, it's pretty remote, really, so... Oh, yeah, there was that one thing that that guy said about a female that walks off. Excuse me, sir. Can I talk to Wait you for a minute? Sec, buddy. Hello there. My name is uh, PC McGee oh from uh, from the Idiot. San Andreas Police. Um, as you can probably see, we've been investigating a murder this morning, or what we suspect to be a murder anyway. So I'm just wondering, have you, um, have you been around here long? Like, how, what, what are you doing here? Nothing really? Oh, okay. Um, where have you come from? From work? Okay, it's pretty early, but all right, whatever. Um, uh, specifically, I want to know, have you seen anything uh, suspicious around here this morning? Saw a couple of guys out lur lurking around? Okay. How? I think somewhere I've got a question about descriptions, so I think it's actually in sexual assault. Um, here we go. Can you describe them? I think he was Asian, short, slim, and had black hair. Okay, what was he wearing? A red hoodie. Okay, so we've got an Asian male, slim, with black hair, wearing a red hoodie. Right, okay. Lovely. Thank you very much for that. Um, can I get your name, please, in case we need to contact you about um, ID, huh? maybe providing a statement if it steamed uh, necessary. There we go. So this is uh, Dan Fernando. Right, let's um, let's m move away before we find out that Dan's wanted uh, as well. Oh, sorry, you can um, uh, you can um, you can go back to whatever it was you were doing, Dan. Thank you. Take care. Oh, it looks like he's going to leave. So that's not very nice. Right, okay, so we'll have a bit of an area search for anyone that might match that description, I guess. Um, let's see. I'm not, I'm not feeling optimistic. We don't know how long this body's been here, to be honest. Okay, so I'm going to look around this area, see if they've got any CCTV that might maybe overlook down there. Or maybe see, like, a passing car in the night or something. I mean, this looks pretty run down, actually. It might not have anything that's, you know, in use. No, it doesn't look like it does. Right, that's a bit annoying. Let's get out of this car park, then. Right, let's, um... Let's go back the other way and see what we can find. He... What, that's a guy with a hammer. He's just been hit by a car. Didn't that guy say a red hoodie? Didn't that guy down on the spit say a red hoodie? What's he doing? Okay, let's just see what he's doing. He's just chatting with someone over there. I don't know why he's got a hammer, though. Um, right, well, let's get another unit down here. Requesting another unit. Backup needed on I probably would have liked it as grade drive. one backup, but... Anyway, let's just keep our eyes on him here. This is Victor 13. We're on okay, Victor 13 is coming down. That's good. Right, Victor 13 is here. Um, all I've got to put on is some spray, so let's... I guess I'll use that. Oh, he's, he's, he's running. Suspect heading southbound on left boss lane. Come on. Guys, you're going to have to go in front of me. I haven't got b body armor or anything. I need you to taser him. Right, let's put the path away for a minute. Let's. I possibly should have stayed in the vehicle. Right, I think we're running out towards um, East Joshua Road here. Sorry, this is uh, West Joshua Road. We're across the road. Heading in the general direction of the train tracks, I think. Come on. Yeah, we're approaching the train track now. I think a train is coming. He's tripped. We got you, asshole. Come on, buddy. I need you to. I need you to taser this guy. I can't do it. Do not run onto the train tracks, dude. Don't let him run onto the train track. Don't let him run onto the train track. Get on the floor. 
Give me my parva. Give me my, my parva. There we go. There we go. Stop. Stop. Put that. Dude, put that knife. Uh, not knife. Put the hammer down. Put it down. Good. Right. Do you want to maybe arrest this guy? No? Okay. Yes. You. Arrest him. I'm going to pick up this hammer. Right. Step further this way. At the minute, you're under arrest on suspicion of murder. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Right. Control, be advised. We've got one male detained. Uh, arrested suspicion of murder. And in fact, I'm going to go for offensive weapon as well. 10-4. Cool. Right. Uh, buddy, I'm also going to be arresting you on suspicion of possession of an offensive weapon for that hammer, okay? So the same caution applies for that. Do you understand the fact that you're under arrest uh, for both of those things and the caution I read to you? You've heard that before? Have you indeed? Right, okay. What is your name? That's what I want to know. My name is Chat Shit Get Bang Dickweed. Right, Mr. Dickweed. Why are you being sassy with me? You're going to get searched... Um, I'd rather my buddy did this, actually, so, um... Uh, but anyway, uh, you're going to be searched under Section 32 of Pace. Is there anything illegal on you I should know about? Do I need a lawyer? You most certainly are going to need a lawyer, but that didn't answer the question. What am I going to find when I search you? You're going to sue me. Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, can I... Could, would you mind, sir? Could you, um... Just because you've got a body worn and stuff, and I haven't, and you're in uniform, etc., um, would you mind doing a quick search for this gentleman, please? That witness over there definitely said an Asian male wearing a red top. So, that's that. What have we got here? We've got uh, a note about an upcoming business meeting. That's interesting, because I'm pretty sure our victim had one of those as well. Uh, hand sanitizer, multiple zip bags of white pills, a Ponsonby gift card, deflated balloon, used condom, and a stick of chewing gum, that will be. Okay. I'm pretty sure our victim also had a note about an upcoming business meeting and some white crystals, I think he had, rather than white pills. But, okay. Yeah, this is definitely an Asian male wearing a red top, so I'm pretty happy with that. And, you know, he's in the area and he's got a weapon and he's run upon seeing police. So I'm pretty happy with those circs. We'll have to do some forensic work as well to time to it a little bit more uh, specifically. So... Let's, uh, well, we don't have his name, so we can't do any checks here. So what we're going to do is we'll get him down to the station. So, um, if we can get a van out here. Backup needed in Grande Sonora Desert. So what we'll do, we'll get a van out here, and then the van will take him down to, um, down to custody, where we'll be able to interview him under caution and maybe find out a little bit more about what the hell's going on here. Right, here we go. Right, here's our van. We've come this way. Hi guys, thanks for coming out. Hey, it's okay. You're coming. Yeah, there was. If there was one thing I didn't want him to do, even if he, even if he is the murderer, um, I don't, I don't want him getting splattered by a train. So that's why we decided just to go ahead and tackle him. So, thankfully that works. But most of the time that doesn't. So, right. So we're gonna leave um those guys to it. We'll do the long walk back to our car now. And um, yeah. Okay, so we're down here now at the custody suite, and we're in a interview room. We found out this gentleman's name. We've um, put him through our system. Um, he has indeed been arrested before, as he alluded to. This is uh, Lucas Colioni. Um, he's got previous for um, various assaults, uh, including assaults on police, uh, as well as uh, assaults on um, other people, including, I think, one GBH a couple of years ago, in which he's... Uh, he uh, broke someone's leg. However, uh, unfortunately, the job um, ran into evidential difficulties. So while we're quite certain that he did do it, um, uh, he was he's never been charged for it. He uh, has spent time inside, but obviously he's out again now. So, um, right. Now is our time, though, to ask him some questions. He's opted, not, he's opted to not wait for his... Um, 
lawyer to get down here. He's wanted to go straight into interview, so um, we're just going to get straight to it. First of all, do you understand the fact that this whole interview is being recorded both audibly and visually? Sure, whatever. F fantastic. My first question is, what were you doing down in uh, the top part of Sandy Shores today? They disrespected me? Okay. Who? Why would you say that? Dude, let's just get this over with. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find out what the hell's happened. So, someone's disrespected you. What have you been fighting about? That bitch deserved to have their ass beat? Wow, this dude really probably should have waited for his lawyer and just gone no comment for all of this, because this is not going his way at all. So, um, why did you run from me? As soon as you saw a marked police car turn up, you ran from us. Why? You didn't do anything wrong? So, why run, though? Did you want, like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you run? Okay, so a body's been found dead early on the, this morning. Um, not too far away from where you were picked up, okay? So, do you know who did this? What do you mean? It's a very simple question. I'm asking you if you know who is responsible for this. So, I'll ask you again. What were you doing up in Sandy Shores this morning? Chilling. Okay. Why that particular part of town? You live nearby? Okay, that's a fair answer, I suppose. So I'm going to bring out exhibit DMLC01. This is a little pot of liquid that we found near to the body on scene this morning. Um, what? Do you know what this is? You'd like to talk to a lawyer. Okay, now you want a lawyer. Right, you wait there then. I'll go and sort you out a lawyer. We really need to get the lights fixed in here. Right, okay, so we've got you, your solicitor, as you can see here. Right, so where were we? Let's talk about the hammer, okay? Um, why are you running around with a hammer in your hand? Okay, so someone's put out a hit on you. Okay, so where did you get this hammer from? I'm a bit... Dude, you're under arrest. You're in custody right now. What are you talking about? Okay, you understand you can't carry, like, something, a hammer just out in the streets for protection. That's illegal. That makes it an offensive weapon. Right? You have a right to self-defense, but if you've taken a hammer out of your house in anticipation of being attacked, that's not self-defense, okay? That's planning. That's you picking up that weapon or picking up that object with the intent of it being used as a weapon, be it to defend yourself or not, that makes it an offensive weapon. Do you, un do you understand that? No. Well, that's that's the way it is. Okay, so you mentioned someone's put out a hit on you. Are you affiliated with any particular gang? Do you, I, that doesn't make sense. I, I don't... Why would you say that? Okay, so I'm going to present uh, exhibit DMLC02, which is the hammer that was picked up... Um, from scene when you were arrested you had it in your hand for some reason the entire time we were chasing you um it's not been it's been it's going to get sent off for forensic examination however i can already see by looking at it that there is a small amount of red liquid uh, around the metal end of the hammer which looks suspiciously to me like blood so whose blood is this mine you had you had an accident okay and why why was that? This is bullshit. I, I I don't really think it is. So let's do a little bit of a recap, okay? Just for the benefit of your solicitor as well, who missed the first part of this. You you live up in Sandy Shores, which is true. We've verified that. Uh, and you were just chilling out nearby. However, you've also mentioned, when I've asked you about the deceased, that they deserve to get their arse beat. We've also found a blooded hammer, which, when I've asked you about that, you've avoided the question completely you've said that there's someone out to get you however you've not been able to expand on that at all so let's talk about something else shall we um when you were arrested and you were searched there was a a note on you about an upcoming business meeting now it's not dated so we don't really know too much about this do you want to shed some light what's the um what's the deal with this note Simple. I want to see that son of a bitch burn. Right. Okay. I mean, that's a significant statement, if ever there was one. Okay, let's keep going with this. So, both on you 
and on the deceased party, there was multiple zip bags of, well, he had white crystals, and you had white pills or tablets. Very similar things. Uh, in fact, I've got the uh, some zip bags uh, that were found on you here. This is, uh, for the benefit of the tape, this is exhibit DMLC03. Um, let's talk about these a bit, shall we? So, um, what are these tablets? You just got it from some girl? Okay. There's quite a lot of them split between you and the other guy. It kind of looks like um, intensive supply. Your, your right to counsel? What? This, this, you're in a, you're in a, a thing, dude. So. Right, we've also got uh, exhibit DMLC04, which are the crystals that were found on our deceased party. What are these? Do you know what these are? I swear it ain't drugs. I mean, I was asking if you know what they are, not what they aren't. Okay, so what, what was this all, all about? Was this a drug deal gone wrong? You coming over here to buy what? I would like to know. That's why I'm asking you. You wear there's a high drug crime in Sandy Shores, right? Yeah, I blame the gangs. What, those gangs that you think is bullshit and you're not part of? Where did you get these? Bought them from a guy at Labour Place in East Los Santos. Okay. Okay, and do you use them or do you sell them as well? You're being followed. Oh, is this the same people that have got a hit out on, on you? Right, well, at this moment in time, I haven't got any further questions. However, I believe you are going to be remanded in custody as you are number one suspect um, for this murder. And based on the comments you've made in this interview, I'll be honest, buddy, I don't see you getting out of here anytime soon. So, right, you wait here, buddy. I'm just going to talk to your uh, solicitor outside. Can we fix these lights, please? Right, let's go into this, uh, the viewing room. See, he can't see us, but he knows we're here, so we're just staring him out. Yeah, he's, um, he, he's probably going to get remanded. Um, he's suspect number one, I think, and I'm pretty sure as soon as we do some forensic work um, on the body and also some swabs of him and his clothing and whatnot, we'll, um, we'll probably find a match and it's going to be quite cut and dry. So, yeah, thank you very much for coming out, though. Um, there might be more interviews, so if you want to stick around, that, that's fine. Um, if not, you can, um, you can go. All right, I'm going to take this guy back to his cell. Lucas, if you just want to... Uh, Follow me, mate. Take him back to cell two is where he's staying at, at, at the minute. Right, as I said in the interview, mate, um, I'd get comfortable, okay? So do you want something to read while you hear the codes of practice? Give me the book and fuck off. Okay. What do you want for dinner? Whatever. Okay, right. You know where the, the button is if you need help. I'll be using it. Cool. Just don't be a dick to the custody staff, alright? They don't need you messing them around. They've got enough to deal with, alright? So there we are then. Something a little bit different. Hopefully you have enjoyed. It's been an absolute headache for me trying to work out how to do a uh, full CID patrol. We only ended up going to one job. However, like most things CID end up dealing with, it is long and sprawling. So do make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy this one down below. And consider subscribing for more British LSPDFR content coming up every single week. But until the next video, I've been Dodo McGee and I'll see you back on patrol.